Chick Hicks is probably the most misunderstood and just mistreated character in all of cinematic history. Like, I watched Cars yesterday, and watching it as an adult, it made me realize just how sad Chick Hicks' life really is, and just how mistreated he is by Cars in society. But you know, I'm trying to make shorter videos, so I will not elaborate. Here we go. It's not that easy being green. In all my years of watching movies, I've noticed one key aspect that's been consistent throughout every movie I've watched. And that's how the color green always represents injustice in movies. Like, you don't believe me? Look, look. The Green Book. What's that about? Racism. The Green Mile. What's that about? Racism. Green Lantern. What's that about? hate crimes and there's characters too every character is based around green look shrek he's mistreated by society he's kicked out of society the grinch he's kicked out of society it's like all of these characters suffer because they're green what is the song made by kermit about it's not easy being green and guess what color chick hicks is he's green his entire just design is just based around how mistreated he is. The movie even draws importance to his color because him and his pit crew are the only green cars in the entire movie. So it obviously has to mean something. And when we look further into his design, we can just see what the amount of sponsors he has. That represents how he's been losing races his entire life and has to have so many sponsors to stay relevant in the racing world since life has just beat him down and kept him there with losses around every corner. All the announcers talk about how shitty he is at racing, he always comes in second place, and just every aspect of his life has been shit. Lightning is more of an asshole than Chick Hicks in this movie. For the entire first half of Cars, Lightning McQueen is just a total complete asshole to everybody around him and nobody says anything about it because he's hot. Okay, okay, ignore that. But meanwhile, Chick Hicks is arguably just friendlier and he's treated poorly simply because he doesn't fall into the car beauty standards and because he's green. Car racism! Lightning continuously objectifies women, talks bad about his pit crew, hates his sponsors even though they gave him his big break, and just does a bunch of other shitty things throughout the movie. Meanwhile, Chick Hicks is over here making jokes with his pit crew and treating them like family. They literally have matching mustaches. He's never disrespectful towards women, and he doesn't have the time to care for each of his sponsors because he needs so many to stay relevant because of car racism. Lightning McQueen literally has fantasies about Chick Hicks getting brutally murdered by a massive death machine. And that's the one we should root for? And I'm sorry, but of course Chick Hicks is gonna trash talk, cause it's a competitive sport. Look at Conor McGregor. He talks smack cause it makes things a little interesting. What do you expect Chick Hicks to do when he competes in probably one of the most dumb fuck boring sports that has ever existed besides like golf? He's gonna trash talk and mess with people or else no one would go to the races or or lightning in any other race or wouldn't get a nice big paycheck. So yeah, fuck, fuck you, yeah. Lightning McQueen. Chick Hicks is better than you. No, but I wish I could have. They say it was amazing. He won three piston cups. He did what in his cup? I've saved the worst for last people. So this is just the single worst thing I've ever seen happen to a person in cinema. So this sad man who has just been demolished by life, had finally won the Piston Cup after so many years. Which, for the entire movie, the Piston Cup has been shown to be like the biggest accomplishment in car society. So when Chick Hicks won fair and square, he gets his moment stolen from him by Lightning McQueen wanting to be a sentimental douchebag for the press. Then, when he gets to accept his trophy after just years of hard work and his entire life building up to this moment, he doesn't even get an applause. Fuck every car in this movie, man. Fuck everyone who dislikes Chick Hicks. He's simply a man who's just been beaten down by society and those around him. And through all this adversity in his life, from car racism, being misunderstood constantly, and always being treated like lesser than everyone else for no reason, he had finally achieved his dream of winning the Piston Cup, and it's been squandered and it got squandered by Lightning McQueen's stupid, fruity, sentimental ass. Tell me how that's fair. 
Chick Hicks, I am sorry for what society has done to you. Not only are you misunderstood and racially profiled, but your fellow cars continuously destroy any semblance of accomplishment you get. Just know that I appreciate you and I hope that one day you might learn to see yourself the way that I see you. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, that's the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching my last one. That was a wake-up call that I gotta not do shitty videos. So thanks for that. Um, but I do appreciate how my Puss and Boots video is at like 450 views. Thank you for that a lot. Um, I'm gonna keep putting out videos, but exams are coming up, so I don't know when my schedule is gonna be worked out. So we'll see. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, Send me money on PayPal, everything. Alright, see ya.